Hi everyone and welcome back, it's Vicky here and today I have a new art journal layout. The inspiration for this project came from the new small die of the month by Spellbinders. It is called Enjoy the Ride and it comes with 20 dies. Now you can create a little Vespa and you also get a balloon as well as letters that fit inside the balloon to cut out words. Now you can spell with those the word ciao or enjoy. And you also get two more dies that you can complete a sentiment saying enjoy the ride. I used colored cardstock to cut out all the little pieces and now I am putting everything together with the help of my Nouveau Deluxe glue as well as this wax pencil that is great for picking up little cutouts. Now in order to stick the little pieces inside the holes I'm going to turn the piece at the back and I'm going to cover up all those areas with double sided tape. This way at the front I have a sticky area and everything will fit nicely inside and stick there. Now as I am putting all those pieces together I am going to chat a little bit on how I got the inspiration for this uh, layout. This is a question that I get a lot. So I don't know about you, but the moment I see a Vespa, it always reminds me of Italy, obviously. And I have great memories from all my travels to Italy. Every time I go, I have the time of my life. I love the people, I love the food, and I absolutely love the gorgeous place. So it is a great idea to have a page about Italy on my art journal. All these dies come in the small die of the month club kit. This is the month of May, and uh, it's only $12.50. Down below you will find a link to this club. If you follow it, you will also find lots of inspiration from other designers on how they use this lovely focal point on cards. So I thought it would be fun, instead of making a card today, to share an idea on how you can make an art journal. I'm going to create a page for my 6x6 disc bound journal. So I have some 6x6 paper here. This is heavy watercolor paper and you will find the link on which one I'm using down below. I'm going to punch the holes and now I'm ready to go. Now for the background, since I'm going for a theme about Italy, I decided to recreate the Italian flag. So I'm bringing some printer paper here and I'm just going to tear it with my hands. I don't want to have perfect edges and uh, the idea here is to create a little mask. And I'm going to do some spraying here, for that I will be using my Distress Oxide sprays. Make sure to shake them well before you use them. For the green I went with Pilt Paint and for the red I went with Fired Brick. And of course here I have my Italian flag. Now I want it to look more distressed and um, that's why I'm adding lots of water to activate all that color but I definitely don't want those two colors to meet at the center. Now I'm going for a vintage look here, so I like to have imperfections. That's why I'm going to splatter some water and I'm going to leave it for a few seconds to react with the ink and then I'm going to blot it with some paper towel. Now since I'm going for a vintage look, which I absolutely love for my layouts, I am inking up the edges and I'm using Distress Oxide ink in vintage photo. Now for the background I'm also going to use this pattern paper, this comes from an old paper pad by Tim Holtz. If it is still available I will link it down below, but if you don't have such a pattern paper you can always print out something from uh, the internet. I'm going to cut it out to be 4.5 by 5 by 4.5, which means that it's going to be slightly smaller than my background and this way I will give the opportunity to the flag for the flag to show all around as a border. I am using my tool here to make sure that all the edges look old and uh, distressed. If you don't have such a tool, you can always use your scissors. Now I'm going for a page that is especially about Rome. And if you are our general police, I have to say that this map is definitely not the map of Rome. But really, who cares? I don't think that anyone will ever notice. I just want to have the idea that there is a map of a town at the background. So I went with vintage photo all around my borders and I also splattered some water just to have some imperfections. I'm also going to bring in a blending tool with a black suit and I'm going to ink up only the very edge. This is going to create a little contrast between the background flag and my piece that is going on top. 
and it's going to help it stand even more. Now with my scissors I'm going to create a couple of notches and I'm curling the paper towards the top. These little details are going to make the paper look even older. Now I'm going to bring in my matte medium. I'm going to apply some of this medium with my brush at the back and I'm going to stick that on top of my background. Now everything at the background looks quite vintage but my focal point is very bright and new. So I'm going to use the same uh, blending tool and I'm going to ink up the edges just a touch so this now doesn't look as brand new as it was before. A little details like that are really important and actually bring all the elements on one page together. So I'm going to stick that down and I need to ground my Vespa somehow so that it's not floating over the page. For that I'm going to tear a little piece of this corrugated cardstock. At the back I'm using some white glue and I'm going to stick it on top of my page. And I'm going to cut off the excess. I grabbed my scissors but then I thought it would be better if I cut it with my fingers. This way I have imperfections and it matches the background. Now I need to have uh, an element of contrast there and that's why I'm using this black strip underneath. It is just more pleasing to my eye this way. I am going to ink up the corrugated cardstock and now I'm ready to stick my Vespa on top by using some foam squares at the back. I love how my page is looking at the moment and I'm going to take it a step further and I don't know if you are aware of a saying that says all roads lead to Rome and that's what I'm going for today. I have those uh, thin strips of paper where I'm going to stamp the word Rome and I don't have a Rome stamp but I do have tiny little letters that I can combine together to write whatever I want. Now I'm going to turn this into signs, road signs that um, point out to Rome and then I'm going to ink them up by using again vintage photos since I want consistency on my pages. Now I'm going to pull everything together so I have a very thin strip of chocolate cardstock here. I'm adding a thin strip of double sided tape at the back and I'm going to stick it on top of my layout. Now on top of them I'm going to arrange my signs and decide where everything is going to go and then I'm going to commit and stick them down by using foam tape at the back. And I think I pulled together everything beautifully since I have the map and the signs and no matter which road I follow I'm going to end up in Rome. Now if you follow my videos you already know that I like to add uh, white highlights here and there. So I'm using gesso and uh, doing my dry brushing over the corrugated cardstock. And then I'm going to finish it off by adding some white splashes all over the place. And my page is ready. It's time to put it back on my 6x6 disc bound journal. I had so much fun while I was creating this page and I hope you had fun too and that you got inspired. As always there is a list down below in the description area where you can find all the products that I use to create this layout. Don't forget to leave me a comment, like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you all for watching today and I'll see you all next time.